How are we doing folks? Welcome back to another unboxing with Big Maccabee Pop Ginger. Today uh, it is the 22nd of June at time of filming and we have another popfigures.com delivery. This time what I've done is I ordered, uh, I believe it was five damaged mystery boxes and also uh, inside I believe there should be a specially ordered item that I got from Pop Figures. Um, so what I, to explain that one, basically what happened was I messaged them just to inquire if they had something that I needed in stock and the owner got back to me and very kindly went through the stock and found what I was looking for. So they've included that in this lovely delivery. But before I get to that, just want to show a couple of things. First one being, there is a reason for the Harry Bows. This beautiful little pop that I won in a raffle held by Chelsea on the Funko Freaks page on Facebook. Pardon me, always gassy. So if you enjoy raffles, go ahead and check them out. The info little number, the box that this came in was actually soaked on one side, thanks to Royal Mail, but thanks to Chelsea's fantastic packaging, it has arrived still in mint condition with a lovely packet of sweets to accompany it. And then this little taster, if this is what I think it is, I'm hoping it's what it is. Let's have a little, let's just check. Yep, I was right. It is my I Am Iron Man PX exclusive. Some point I need to get one of them uh, UV light things that charges these up. It's a beautiful little number. I've just noticed when you look inside, there's a... A random bit of plastic wrapped around uh, his clicking hand. But that has arrived in fantastic condition, surprisingly, given it came from Pop in a Box. But he's here now. Beautiful. Let's put this safely back over there. Right, let's get in to the goodies. Ooh, it must be sweating, it's a bit warm. I have no idea when this video will be released, but like I said, it's being filmed on the 22nd of June, Monday. So yeah, there should be six pops in this box, uh, if everything's gone right. So let's just gently, there we go. Put the knife down there. Let's just... Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six in there. One of them's upside down. So I think this one's going to be. Yep, right. So, because I, I don't think the damaged ones come um, with the protectors on, because, well, they're already damaged, so what's it matter? Now, I have, I have seen people unbox the damaged ones from Pop in a Box before. But I keep saying the wrong bloody name. Popfigures.com before. But mostly what I've seen is just like little nicks and things on the corner. But they're only five pound a piece. So I figured let's give them a go. But before we get to that, I just want to show you the item that they lovingly found for me in their stock that I needed, which was the last of the Stranger Things 8 bits. And it's dusty. And I'm very happy to have this. And I'm very happy it's still got the original American sticker on too because uh, if anyone will have remembered one of my previous videos I managed to get Lucas from them as well so beautiful little number let's just put them out of the way for a moment right so let's get into the damage boxes shall we so let's just check yep five in there and our first one ooh, okay the first damage one we're pulling is a special edition and it's, well, it's pretty bashed. But I reckon I can just straighten that out. Right. So the first one we're pulling is a special edition from Altered Beast. So 
let's just check the damage. So the first one, we've got the crease on the top from where this bit has been squished up. Bit of diggage on the bottom. And a little bit of dingage on this base bit here. Cool little eight bit though. So yeah, that's a little more than just a little ding. But like we say, these when we buy these damaged ones, we know that we can get anything from a small scratch on the corner to an absolutely obliterated box. It's the fun of the game. That's not a bad little start for the damaged box. So we've got Altered Beast Werewolf, that one was. Second one we're pulling. Okay, so it's a common... Uh, we've got to say things in. Dragon Ball Z. Let's check damage level. Dragon Ball Z is always easy to move on after. So, check in the box. Minor little dinging on this corner bit here. And a small tear in the corner. But otherwise, uh, oh, and a small tear on this corner. But yeah, not too much damage on that one. That's not too bad. Uh, so that one is Vegeta. It's the common Vegeta we got there. So first two, not bad. On it, I mean, for me, I'd rather the, the damage qualities of those two would have been switched around just because the Altered Beast is more something for my collection than the Dragon Ball Z one. But, hey ho, fun and games. Let's pull, what's the third one? Okay, third one, well, damaged or not, five pounds about all this one's worth. And I already own it. So the third one we got was a Supreme Leader Snoke, Star Wars, at least they mixed it up a bit, I like that. And the damage for this one is just a big, like, dodgy U-shaped crease along this back bit here. But otherwise, the rest of the box appears to be mint condition looking. So, that's easy enough. Fourth one we're pulling. Okay, we've gone sports for this one. Let's have a little look, see, see what we're working with. And we have pulled an NBA collectible figures, John Wall. It looks like an older style. I mean, one's 2017, this one was made. And so. Uh, I don't. Oh, no, that, that Chris Stapper's Paul Zingas is listed on the back of this one as well. So this one's for the Washington Wizards from the NBA Collectibles. Okay, damage-wise, little ding on the corner here and a little ding there. Bit of scratch there and a little ding there. Very minor damages. And then just a bit of, bit of scuffing on the top. But overall, oh yeah, and a bit of scuffing on the plastic. But you know what? Again... Not in terrible condition. So let's see what our final item pulled is. Okay, and our final item. Another one I already own. But pretty common one anyway. And we have the Hellboy Queen of Blood. And... Mm. Kind of confused about why this one was added, folks. Simply because I cannot find any actual damage on it. So we've got one that's pretty much in mint condition. So, just a final recap. We received the Queen of Blood from Hellboy. Emperor Snoke from Star Wars. John Wall from the NBA Collectible Figures... And again, he plays for Washington Wizards. According to this, this was Series 3 of the NBA set. We got a Vegeta. And to finish it all off, a pretty cool looking one. I'll probably keep this one instead of selling it on and just have it out of the box. An Altered Beast or Werewolf. Beautiful. So, folks, that was everything I had for you in today's video. But tune back soon. Uh, if you check my Instagram, well, actually, by the time this has been gone out, the Instagram post will be old as hell. 
But basically, at the time of filming, I was waiting on, or I am still waiting on, three more deliveries, I think, from Pop Figures, as well as three mystery boxes from uh, Toys of Earth, the hit and miss ones. And I also have two six piece mystery boxes coming from Pop Culture. So, happy days. Just this second, a Royal Mail Pop Culture email <laughs> just came up. So I get the feeling that's going to tell me I owe money on something. But hey ho. So until next time folks, stay safe, have a good day and of course live that pop fanatic life. See you in a bit. Yeah.